Welcome back to another ep. <laughs> another episode. Good morning. We're up early this morning because we're off on our, our cruise to Lady Musgrove. It's been horrible weather and they predict um, two metre swells, so it should be interesting. <laughs> That's right, we'll have some to rip into the quills, I'm sure we'll be right. It'll be all good. All right, let's go on the adventure. Adam's just asked if I've checked the emails this morning. <laughs> So there's been no further emails, so we're hoping that it all just goes ahead. <laughs> what are they cruising around? Pontoon boats. <laughs> I think let's get a coffee and sit here. <laughs> I see a shark today, hun. I hope so. I just want to see me, mate. <laughs> um. Oh, there's some waves out there on the head. some motion in the ocean. We've still got a bit of sea, about maybe 1.8, 1.9 metres of sea, but uh, we just go straight over that. And once we're there, we're in a beautiful protected lagoon. And uh, the way home, because we go with the swell, is a lot easier. So if anyone does struggle on the way out, you can be assured that once you're there, you feel back to your normal self and the trip home is not gonna be the same. So how does that sound? Pretty yes. Excellent. Now, uh, over here, we have sugar. Now, uh, you might be looking at the boat going, I want to be upstairs, that's fair enough. But at first, we'll get everyone to grab a seat inside. There's like 80 seats in there and there's like 30 passengers, so there's enough seats. Once we're in open ocean, we assess the conditions for other parts of the vessel and see where we can and can't go for safety reasons. But for now, if you come down, meet Sugar, tell him your booking name and uh, he'll tick you off. Head down, you'll meet the rest of the crew as you hop on, grab a seat inside. As soon as we're all there, we'll get on our way.
Wheelbarrow, that's a bit random. Island tour guide today. Before we get started, there's a few things I need everyone to please remember. So first, it's important that everyone stays on the path because there's a lot going on right off the path that we may not see and we don't want to step on any nests or anything. Next, it is part of the Capricornia Keys National Park, so it's protected. So don't take anything and don't leave anything unless it's rubbish. Please pick it up, such as commonly as like cigarette butts or something. If you don't want to carry it, you can just hand it to me and I will carry it. And also, there are a lot of really pretty shells on the island. Please don't pick them up. Ask me first, especially the cone shells. Those shells are one of the prettiest and you're going to want to pick them up, but they have creatures in them that have a harpoon-like tooth. They can come out and sting you and it can result in death. So, please don't pick up any shells. With that being said, Welcome to Lady Musgrave Island. It was named after Lady Lucinda Musgrave. She was the wife of one of the first colonial governors of Queensland. She was a great woman. She dedicated her life to feeding women and children and putting roofs over their heads. She started one of the longest running charities as well, which helped allow her to dedicate her life to this, which is pretty amazing. Although it wasn't always named Lady Musgrave Island, it was actually Wallagenji for the Gurang Gurang people, which were the original owners of the island, and Wallagenji loosely translates to Beautiful Reef, which I think is a pretty good name. Also, this island that we're standing on isn't actually an island, it's called a Coral Cay, and they're a bit different, so an island is made from like geological activity and it's made up of like sand and rock whereas everything we're standing on is completely made up of reef sediment coral and shells that's all broken down and they look like dirt or sand but it's not this is completely part of the reef and it's held together by a lot of guano which is a fancy word for bird poop but <laughs> yeah so let's get going i'll tell you more about birds and trees Excuse the hair. Specking is this. Lady Mushroom Island. I'm getting in trouble because I keep calling it Grave instead of Grave Island. Lady Musgrave. I think I call it Musgrave Island, but anyway, no matter. Um, we're just doing the, the island walk. And then back on the uh, bottom boat and your bottom. A tour. A bit of coral reefs and then us in the water. Bit of a rough ride out, Adam. Well, <laughs> we had about, I don't know, six or so very ill people, but uh, we made it. And this is the view from the island. Sorry. Wash the sand out of my shoes. <laughs> right, you go. Oh, You're there. You. <laughs> 
No, we went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just come out. Go? No, once you get in, you're right. Oh, yeah. Seriously, get in. Ready? And then just use your feet to propel you. Let's go. Do you want a noodle or not? Nah. Okay, come on then. Come! Just go. I'm not waiting here forever. One, two, three, go. Just come already. Or I'll go without you. Come on, let's go. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Yes, you'll be fine. Come. Do you need a noodle? No, no. No, all right. No, no. Let's go. Push. <laughs> and just propel yourself. All right? Fucking breezy. with the journey! It's starting to get really choppy and murky out here. So I'm gonna head back to the boat, have something to eat and have the trip home.
before. It's gonna hold it like. I said it before, it was so far out of my comfort zone using the snorkel gear and everything. But and even being out in the current, like it's yeah. so far out of your comfort yeah, yeah, zone. Yeah, yeah. that the track can get quite narrow and quite windy and this will be our first sort of test at you know watching the roof as well as the sides as well as the everywhere else on the caravan. Like <laughs> we haven't got that much on the roof. No we don't we don't know. Not worried about anything on the roof of the car. It's more just you know the sides and and walls of the caravan really. Well we're slowly seeing um a bit of blue water and it looks a bit windy but anyway it's an adventure <laughs> the vans in front are actually slowing down a little bit just to make sure I think that we get through with them which is really nice um, they're obviously you know a little bit more experienced so. yeah somewhat yeah but um yeah oh just Steady and go with it. Do you want me to get out and guide you here? No. I'll probably hit there. I'd say this is probably where the creek crossing might have been. You've got heaps of room here and you're right behind me. Hold on, man. <laughs> Jump beta. Good job, Vader. <laughs> so we're told this is called the, the creek or, the something, creek like or something. Yeah, but if you follow this through, um, it takes you out to the point or something. Yeah. It's called, um, which obviously is amazing views. A bit windier, however, so we'll just decide. We might just head in a little bit and then take a little wander and see what we think, huh? Mm. Anyway come out to that You're gonna have to straddle here, baby. Still right this side. I'm hoping you're right because I now can't see. How's that drive in, honey? It was all right. It wasn't, like, even looking at the photos, it didn't look too bad. We've only got one one um, mishap, which was um, just where that bar is at the front and the neck hit. Yeah. And, yeah. Anyway, we got one little bit of damage, but nothing Not really. major. I can bend it back. Anyway, but we're set up. Please getting some lunch ready. That's our view. And it's free. I just still can't believe this is free. Yeah. So, anyway, time for some grub. 
Bees are in the fridge. What are you doing? I want some coconut milk. Oh my god. How far is the nearest ambulance? Uh, can I, oh, actually. I don't want to There's milk in it. Very good. Well, we've built our little uh, cave here ready for our fire tonight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know that I should video this. Can you stop? Can you? Should you watch a YouTube channel to actually nah. see how this is done? Pull it. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Oh, God, God, God. Can I just suggest that, yeah, you pull it, try that and then pull it like away, yeah. Oh. Very good. Now what do you do? Can you do it down there? Even better. Put a straw in there, there's one inside. Oh, there's a bit of coconut. Wait, I've got... There's a straw inside, put a straw in there. <laughs> That's why I said put a straw in there. <gasps> Lordy Lord. Watch your foot. You're just going to drill that straight in, bub. Want to taste? No. No, thank you. I'll eat the coconut, but that's going to be a bit hard to get out. Not if I hack the shit out of it. <laughs> Does it smell rotten? Smell it. No. Well, see if you can bust it open with your... Where's your big axe? And then we can have a bit of coconut. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. <laughs> not that. I said your big axe. Ah, oh, this will work. Can you not do it near the van, though? Oh, lordy lord. It's going to bounce back up. <gasps> Watch your fingies. Why don't you, yeah, well, there's plenty of rocks right there. <laughs> Watch it doesn't bounce back up. No, not that's not a rock. <laughs> it's a dipshit. Not near our fire either. We just built that. It's going. It's get. Pull it up. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the inside. It's like the smallest coconut ever. <laughs> However, this will make good kindling, won't it? Oh, <laughs> and he's worried about me. Yeah, but you have do have a history of being retarded. Yeah, well, true that. Oh, that sounded more like an. There you go. Yeah. Nice. We'll just rinse it. Oh. And? That's like a coconut. Whee. It's um just unbelievable that we're here. Truly unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Show me it. <laughs> oh, swing, bada bada bada. Ozzy, I hope you got that. Hey, ah. <laughs> Keep that bit though, because it's good timber. <laughs> You're a dickhead. Oh. <laughs> you bloody you put it. it you put a shoulder out. <laughs> Hey! 
<laughs> so I do this, a nice heart, and Adam, what does he do? Typical. He writes. <laughs> Oh yeah, cowboy, ride him. <laughs> 